here we are then. You're about to tick off biology, the first science done. This is a really big moment, especially if you do triple, because that is all of biology done. If you do combined, don't worry about one particular paper because all six count towards your grade. But obviously, everyone, now is the time to really push for this. You are done with this subject. For many, this is the last time you will ever do biology at school like that again. So it's really worth putting in some effort in for this and also for your last exam. So make sure you subscribe to my channel and make sure you leave a like for the real, the final push, okay? You really want to end strong with your exams because a lot of students are going to start like, the effort's going to start falling, okay? They, they were really motivated at the start. But the top students, you've just got to keep that energy, keep the effort. Two more weeks now, then you're literally done, okay? Then you just don't need to worry about this for ages until your A-levels or you may not even be doing A-levels. Now, what I'm going to be doing in today's video is just giving you guys some of my last minute tips for biology paper two that helped me get a nine. Now, interestingly, biology was actually the lowest nine out of, out of my sciences. I was better at chemistry and physics, but it's still a subject that I enjoyed and well, it was, it's probably my least favorite science. Chemistry was actually my favorite by the end. Anyway, let's get into this. So the first things first is it is important to reflect on your weaknesses from paper one and also focus on your weaknesses in paper two. So for paper one, if I ask you what went wrong, then you should know, is it maybe you ran out of time, which is probably rare because it's a science paper. Maybe you really struggled with the practicals. Maybe there was a whole topic that you just didn't revise. Think about what went wrong for paper one and now you need to think about what could go wrong for paper two. So maybe you're really worried because last time you neglected some topics. So this time you're not going to neglect those topics. The top revision, especially with not much time left, will focus on weak areas. OK, so think about what topics you're weaker at. Think about what you need to improve on and spend time in these last few days, a few hours to revise your weaknesses. OK, focus on that. Again, just like paper one, just like with every single science video I'm going to do, you need to do loads of questions. OK, that's what really helped me. Basically, I just did loads and loads of practice questions, like hours, and I marked them because a lot of science comes up again and again, and you'll see it come up again and again. I never realized that until I started doing the papers. It's kind of weird, but the more exam questions you do, it's like you become fluent in like biology, science, in, in like, like how the examiner writes. So the more mark schemes you see, the better you're going to get, the more of the mark scheme terminology you recall. So you can literally still learn stuff doing past papers and past questions. So strongly, I would recommend doing loads and loads of past papers, okay? And just past questions. You can literally do them pretty quick. Just get up some questions on your computer, write them down on the whiteboard. But questions, as always, are super, super useful. Right, this brings on to the sponsor of today's video, which is Makindo. Now, loads of you guys loved Makindo for biology paper one, and Makindo is a really, really great app on your phone, basically, that lets you just do loads and loads of science questions. So you can do all of biology paper do super quick on Makindo. And the reason I think this is so good is because it's on your phone so you can just do it anywhere and it's completely free by the way. So get Makindo in the description and just do loads of questions on Makindo. For science for me what worked was I just tested myself with so many different resources. So I used like free science lessons on YouTube, I did past papers, I did everything and then I'd do, I would have done Makindo. So make sure you get Makindo and make sure you just start like spamming those questions in your free time, okay? It's all about trying to bring it all to the top of your mind at this point. So thanks Makindo for sponsoring this video and I'd really recommend it as a good resource. Right, as always, practicals are useful because they're going to come up in one way or another. So just be strong on the practicals, right? I've said this every video, but if in the morning, what I would be doing is looking through the practicals, just a last minute recap. You need to know how the practicals work and also other questions that they could ask around the practicals that are quite common. So physics and math tutors, those are great practical questions. It's not always about the like six market explain this practical, but they are going to come up, okay? I think 15% of every exam has to be practical. So make sure you're strong on that. Right, AI then is really useful. With ChatGPT, I would spend, just like I said in my budget paper one video, a good 30 minutes just trying to experiment and ask it questions. So ask it most common questions, ask it key definitions. One thing I really like at the moment is generating a ChatGPT quiz. So say I'm going to be doing budget paper two tomorrow, come up with 10 questions, 10 quick fire questions, and then mark me on the content. And then you just keep getting it to do that. I'll put a prompt for that in the description. You can just copy and paste it to ChatGPT. And you can actually get through so much content like that super, super quick as well. Again, summaries are really important so summary youtube videos are great just to bring everything to the top of your head if i were to start revision i would first watch like a summary video for biology paper two to get everything in my head okay they're usually half an hour there's some great ones science shorts i think there's some i'll link them in the description and then once i've done the summary then i think right what are my weak areas and then i kind of go down a bit more specific 
but you want to make sure you're covering a lot of biology. Just keep it all in the top of your head, okay? That's why Mikendo is going to be so useful as well. So start with the summary, and then you can get a little bit more. Then you've got to learn some content on your weak areas, and then you do a lot of practice as well. For content, Seneca Learning is great for that as well, because it's just got loads. So prioritize your weaknesses again, but I would you could still do a couple Seneca Learning topics between now and the exam. For experiments, the practicals, make sure you comment on stuff like validity, repeatability, the control variables. I would really, really lay it out nicely. And remember, one mark usually translates to one point. So if you get a six mark question, don't write three sentences. Really just milk it. You have the time in the exam. Write what you can. I hope that video was helpful. Biology is going to be done after this. Just really push for it. It's going to go well. Please let me know how it goes well. I do read all your comments. I'm sorry I can't always respond to them. I've got my own exams going on at the moment. But massive good luck and let me know how it goes.